Cavalry Relics out with you again today. I'm going another dig back out in our little productive spot. We found a couple good things out here. Me and Buckshot here today. Gonna see if we can find anything. So we'll get back with you if we find any good signals. All right, got first decent little signal. A little thin piece of brass, got a little pin in it. Almost looks like it's part of a handle to a knife, a pocket knife. Not sure, but something cool. All right, got on another good signal. Dug another 45 ACP bullet from the 1911 pistols. So, see what else we can find. All right, we're back with another signal. Looks like we got a, another fired 30-06 shell casing. Bunch of those over here. See what else we can find. All right, on another hole here, dug a 38 bullet. One out of the revolvers. Dug plenty of those out of here. All right, back over here with Buckshot. He had a pretty good signal. And looks like we've got another piece of that scabbard or a scabbard this is in the area where i found that piece the other day so looks like uh found some more of it probably or maybe another one probably about four inches down so i said about four inches down hit it with the simplex so let's see if we can find the rest of it all right guys pretty good dig i uh, got a good signal unfortunately it was broken up and not whole but uh, this is a 3040 Craig round from the 3040 Craig Jorgensen rifle that the U.S. used during the Spanish-American War. We have found some Spanish-American War era relics over here, so they must have been here training. I know they were here before it was Fort Oglethorpe. They trained in Camp Greenleaf, but pretty awesome find. All right. Going to check a signal and look at something that uh, Chris found over there. And on my way to him, I hit a signal and said, I got to dig this. Another piece of the scabbard, similar to uh, what he had earlier. About the same size. So not sure what went on, whether they had broke them, whether it's got run over by a piece of farm equipment or what. But uh, this is fourth piece we found in this area. Two of them, pretty good piece, size pieces, but... Uh, might be able to piece one together. All right, guys, just where I found that other piece of scabbard, detected another signal. I don't know if you can see that. That's the drag off of it. Folks, that's the end piece with the drag of another scabbard all right just caught up with chris he got a pretty good signal you see he was using his grave digger sidekick to dig it up this is, is going to be the throat off of the scabbard that we've been finding the piece of that the sword goes down into awesome find it has not been up anything it's beautiful condition great find all right, guys, rain's starting to come down on us, so had to call the hunt short just a little bit. I did find a lot of good things. Matter of fact, Chris is still out there uh, digging some signals. Not sure what he's on, but I wanted to do a wrap-up. I know I'm going to miss some of the things that he found, but it's starting to rain and just wanted to do this before it did rain. Take a look at what we got. Got a 30-06 shell. Been dropped. This is an interesting thing. I didn't show it to you while I was digging it because it was starting to rain. This is the handle off of a World War I U.S. Army mess kit. This is that 3040 Craig. It was a dropped live round, but because where it's crimped where the bullet is, it's thinner brass and that piece deteriorates due to the gunpowder that's in there. still makes it corrosive. A uh, bunch of the 38 bullets found today. I got uh, one, maybe two of the 45s, but uh, I didn't want to show you all those. Just a little piece of uh, china that was in one of the holes. Interesting 
heavy brass piece that I found. Not sure what it is, but uh, definitely pretty interesting. This was that first signal that uh, looked like it was part of a pocket knife, but not sure. Old shotgun shell, of course, going to find those. Piece off the horse tack. And then, of course, there is the bottom part of the sword scabbard with the drag. Another piece of the sword scabbard. And, of course, the Nocta Simplex Grave Digger Sidekick with the sheath. Awesome, awesome tool. Can't say enough about it. You're not going to break it unless you're really trying to move something you shouldn't be. And of course, the Predator Tools Piranha. Definitely a good shovel. If you can see there, it's going to cut right through the roots. So don't have to worry at all about that. So I just want to uh, wrap it up. Tell you guys thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're going to be bringing out some more videos, have some more content, uh, product reviews, things like that. And just remember, if you click that mouse, we'll come dig at your house.